I just walk in on you and you're actually giving yourself your own cut. Cut your own hair. Yeah. This is all, this is what you do. You sew your own clothes. Yeah, 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 now this is it. So I would never give myself marketing advice. I, <laughs> so I, I'm starting a new segment here called uh, BS Whip. It stands for Bizarre Situations with interesting people. If there was a, like a like a Mad Max scenario. Yeah. Okay. Where food supplies were cut off, chaos reigned supreme, it'd be like Modern Warfare or Red Deadhead or Mortal Kombat. How do you survive? Mind you, you could be sure you had electricity or food or water. What uh, steps would you take? Could what? you hunt your own food if necessary? Oh my god, we're going, I'm, I'm, I'm dying in about 24 hours after <laughs> that. Uh, no! <laughs> it's all, uh, everything's, everything's chaos and yeah. I, I, I'd be over. Would over you try again. to... I couldn't do anything, no. Would it you, would be, would you let's break look for in? the closest place where it looks good, hang out. Where would you go? Go to the beach, go to the water, hang out on the beach. And and for the fish or just to, to enjoy your last days just on like, Earth? <laughs> Just to enjoy your last days on Earth. <laughs> you, wouldn't, you wouldn't try I to fight it. Try, no, yeah. there would be no point. In New York City, uh, how, how much food can there be in New York? I mean, could they? Could the New Yorkers possibly live Probably off, on of, the, off of the dumpster? And the homeless people who can eat some of them. There's this guy at work, this guy's work, um, and I won't say his name, but say for practical purposes, I'll call him Klaus, because that's his name. He's he's a German guy, and he's the kind of person that just makes you feel terrible about yourself. You know what I mean? Like, he's yeah. perfect shape. He looks like the guy from the, the, oh, yeah. the uh, X90 uh, muscle confusion yeah. infomercial. You just feel completely inferior. Right. Yeah. Right. So he tells me that he can go hunt his own food. He's ready for this scenario. He knows where he's going to go. He's got a backpack. He's got a backpack. Oh, my God. He's got a kayak. He's got like all these. Things. Well, I think that's great. I yeah. think that I, I'm I'm screwed basically. So basically, the campers yeah. are all good. Right. And everybody who doesn't camp and who basically goes to the store for everything, every single little item. Yeah, we're done. But you see, at least you have a marketable skill that even in an apocalyptic Mad Max uh, era, people will still need their haircut. People are not going to need marketing consulting. <laughs> so I don't know if that's kind of apocalyptic experience. I don't know if anyone's going to care about it. No, you're right. Hair. They're probably going to cut it. They're going to cut they're it with shards of glass. Everybody. We're eating. We're they're eating. Gonna they're going to eat their own hair. We're eating everyone. Bizarre situations with interesting people. I think the first segment was a smash show. I don't think you could have done better. You're complete candor. Hey, it's all good. Yeah. Come to me for the truth. <laughs>